Hey Tamarkins, it's Tilly to come back to another video. And today's video is going to be another first impressions of makeup. This is going to be kind of affordable because I have a bunch of affordable products. The only thing that's really the most expensive is probably the eyeshadow palette. But other than that, everything else is affordable. So if you want to see what I think about these products and the finished look, then just keep on watching. Give up on my way my AOA eyebrow pencil this is off of shop miss a and this is only a dollar um, I use the shade I think it's like dark brown or something it comes with the eyebrow side and then a spoolie only for a dollar so if you haven't heard about shop miss a.com definitely go check them out so the main theme of this video is going to be the makeup revolution new foundation and concealer Makeup Revolution came out with a hydrating line for their foundation and concealer, so I'm gonna be trying this out today. I don't think it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to have like a doe foot applicator with it. This does not look right. And no, this is not a tester because it was in its packaging. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to look like this. What? I literally just took the pack the packaging off of it and it came out like that. Don't know what that is, but okay i mean as long as it was sealed i don't really care nobody used it but that's definitely not the way that you're supposed to put it on but it's fine we're gonna keep on going so i'm gonna go with the concealer first to clean up my brows and to prime my eyelids so i got this in the shade c10 and this is a hydrated concealer it's medium to full coverage and yeah it has hyaluronic acid and acai in it i think that's how you say it I'm just going to take this on the back of my hand, go in and clean up. So actually, it seems to still be a pretty good coverage. So it does dry down just a tad, but it's still blending. Let's go in and prime our eyes. This would be great as an eyeshadow primer, I can tell. It's a good shade. Yeah, it blends out really nicely. Eyeshadow palette I'll be trying out today is this Cageling eyeshadow palette that I got off this website or well, this company reached out to me and they wanted me to try out their palette and the uh, website the Instagram is Brittany Webb's um, cosmetics I think I will have it linked down below in my description box the palette looks is so freaking cute I love the packaging of it and then you just lift this up and it has these gorgeous gorgeous shades so we're gonna try this out today so the first shade I'm going to take, I think I want to, what kind of color, mm, I might want to do something blue or something. So I'm first going to take the shade called Connery, Connery, it's this yellow shade right here. So off bat, that yellow actually showed up pretty nice. Um, honestly better than a lot of yellows I've used on the first like application. Uh, I believe this palette runs for maybe like 30 or $20, so it's not super affordable, but this is the only thing in this first impression that's not super affordable. But we will see if it's worth the $30, but off bat, this yellow is really, really nice. So that's a good sign. Now we're gonna go with the outer V shade. I'm going to take this purple shade called Flamingo and I'm gonna use this as my outer V shade. Not super pigmented, but I can see the pigmentation. I'm just gonna apply it first and then I'm gonna blend it out. All right, let's go in and blend. And then we may even have to apply a little bit more of the purple. So as blended, so we're just gonna apply a little bit more because it kind of blended away like I figured it would. But look at that pigmentation. Definitely layers very good. Look at that, that's so nice. Like, I will say that you kind of have to have experience with eyeshadows to be able to kind of work with that shade. Um, but I was able to really finesse. <laughs> I want to go on with this really pretty blue shade, the Robin shade, but I also want to use this purple shade. So I think I'm going to take the purple shade first and I'm going to place that on like the very inner and then I'm going to take the blue shade on the outer. So first, let's cut our crease so we can get the most pigment out of these shadows. I'm going to use the same concealer. So I'm going to first take the purple shade. I'm going to place that on the inner part of my eye. It's pretty. All right, let's go on with the blue now. Yeah, these shadows aren't bad. I'm going to definitely have to blend out these shades. I'm going to go in and blend. I 
Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to be trying these new lashes that I got from Blush Bundles Cosmetics. So these are the lashes right here. They're 25mm, which y'all know is really, really long. But I just want to try them out because she gave them to me. So I'm going to try them out. This is how they look, y'all. Like, look at these freaking lashes. They're humongous. So I'm going to test these out. I'm just going to test these out like by myself and I'm going to come back to you guys and show you how they look after they're on. These lashes are big, but they absolutely went on super easy. And yeah, they don't look horrible, but they're just huge. They're definitely huge. They're they're out there. So let's move into primer. So I'm going to be using my AOA Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. Um, this primer is only a dollar from Shop Miss A, so very affordable. This feels very moisturizing. Okay, so you've seen that the foundation looked really wacky, but I'm still gonna try to use it. So I'm just gonna take it, just dab it on. And I'm in the shade F13. And I'm going to take my Believe Beauty foundation brush to blend this out. So off that, I can tell that is very, very luminous. Cause I can see it on my face. I can see the shine, but it looks good. For some reason, luminous foundations always just look better on my skin. But I like how um, this shade isn't the best shade. It looks kind of gray. I think it's the same shade I got in the other foundation. Maybe just a tad too luminous for my liking. So I'm definitely gonna have to set very good. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and try to like soak up some of the product. Yeah, the shade just looks very, very weird. It's like super gray, I don't know if you can see that. But it's just like super, it's a weird undertone very weird so this may be the wrong undertone which i haven't put up the wrong shade in a long time but we're gonna see if we can work with it so i'm going to take the concealer and highlight this is very light the concealer looks like it's going to be a really good coverage and this out to help the shade too this may this may make it look better blends out pretty nicely but it's very light then that's my fault I'm really sad when the eye makeup comes out so good, but the face makeup doesn't because the face makeup doesn't come out good. It will mess up the whole look. I'm going to go with this Ulta setting powder. This is a new one that I actually found. This may help. Um, it's a neutralizing um, setting powder and it's a yellow based one. I'm going to take this and place it under my eye. It seems to be doing something, but it kind of just goes right into the skin. It like soaks right into the skin. I got some Dollar Tree face, face for products that I'm going to be trying out today. So I have this Beauty Benefits. This is a bronzer and cinnamon. So I'm going to be trying this out right here. But I want to find some affordable stuff for you guys. So let's see if I can bronze up my face with this and try to save this makeup okay it looks like it's doing something but the powder isn't really pigmented i next have this contour palette right here and it comes with a lighter shade and then a contour shade and i'm going to take the contour shade and i'm going to contour but this is super gray so i'm just going to use just a little bit even though i set this makeup down with powder i can still see the luminous peeking through and that's just one thing I don't like is when it still peeks through. Some people might like that, but I just don't. That means that it's too luminous for me. I also picked up a blush, and this is the blush right here from the Color Workshop. Let's try this out. So let's apply this. It's pretty, and it's not too pigmented to where it's obnoxious either. So the highlighter I got is also from the Beauty benefits collection this is starlight so i'm going to take the darker shade okay it's pretty it's like a cool tone so for lips i have two products i have this it's like a tinted lip gloss or a lip balm from the same brand that the um, eyeshadow palette is from and one is super cute and look at the freaking little flower isn't that so freaking cute so I'm trying to decide if I want to use this or if I want to use this plumping gloss from Sexy Mother Pucker. And it's just this shade. 
Okay, let's go on with the lip balm first to moisturize. Now, as you can tell, you can see the little pink tint in it. It's lined in. This is going on so much better than usual because my lips are moisturized. And let's take the gloss. It's not a bad color. It doesn't smell that great. Not bad. So I'm going to go and do my hair and put on some earrings and stuff. And I'm going to come back to you guys so we can talk about these products. Now I can feel the gloss working because my lips are getting a little bit numb, which is fine. But it just feels really weird. But, okay. So going down with some products. Um... Starting with the eyeshadow palette, I really, really, really like this eyeshadow palette. I feel like it's very unique. I feel like you won't find nothing else like this. And these shades are also really nice. And they are super pigmented and they showed up really good on my skin. My eyeshadow came out perfect. Um, the lashes, I love a lot as well. I didn't think I would, but I actually have kind of, you know, got used to them. And I feel like I can definitely wear these if I'm feeling really, like, vibrant or really dramatic or just want to have a really like drama fat look i would definitely wear these lashes again so i will leave my coupon code down below in my description box and definitely go check out blush bundles and cosmetics for the foundation <laughs> the foundation was not my favorite um the shade wasn't the best shade it seems like it kind of you know balance itself out but the formula is just too luminous and too dewy for me so i would have to mix that with a foundation that is super 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 matte maybe like the fancy beauty one i would have to mix with in the winter time because that's just too dewy by itself and it also came with a messed up top like what super weird now the concealer was super fun i like the concealer pretty good um the only thing is that i just got the wrong shade so that's my fault but the concealer was just not the best shade for me especially with a gray foundation like that so i'll definitely have to go back and get a darker shade um as far as the ulta beauty setting powder it seems like it actually looks pretty good now sometimes it takes products a little while to settle in and to settle into your skin to look better so i wouldn't knock the powder i like the powder pretty good um looks good on my skin now um, as far as the Dollar Tree products, I pretty much liked everything. Like I said, my face looks pretty good right now. Um, I wish the bronzer was just a little bit more pigmented. The blush was nice. The highlighters were nice. Um, yeah, like everything was just nice except for the foundation. Um, and for the plumping lip gloss, I actually really like this lip gloss. It feels really nice on my lips. Even though it's plumping up right now, it feels really nice. It's super glossy and it's not too, too pink. And as far as the lip balm, I love that lip balm. I've actually been using it for a couple weeks now. And it's super moisturizing. I love the tint it gives me. Like I said, I pretty much like every product I use except for the foundation. The foundation I could pass on. Like if I can go back and get my $12, I would go back and get my $12. But I didn't keep my receipt. So I can't go back and get it. But it's fine. It's fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and review of these products. If you like these type of videos, definitely comment down below any products you want me to try out next time. Make sure that you subscribe to become a part of the gang. Gang, gang. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Just another nigga, I. Say she give me bun the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she.